what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to talk about two reasons why you can't get over your narcissistic ex and these two main reasons why it's difficult to move on from a toxic relationship is because you have an emotional attachment to the narcissist and you sometimes find yourself in deep thought of idealizing what it could be based on what they promised you and what you wanted and it's difficult to kind of separate you know reality from what's fake now the narcissist promised you everything they promised you the world they promise you things that were possible and that's why it's hard for you to kind of let go of the hope that just maybe just maybe it can still happen if you give them a chance again and the second reason is trauma bonding that's where trauma bonding come in at because what the narcissists do when they first come into your life, the very beginning stages of your relationship, when you're just getting acquainted, is they, they offer you so much because they see so much in you. And they're offering you these things because they want you to feel like you deserve it. They see so much in you that they admire and they just want to treat you to nice things. They feel like you deserve so much. And a lot of times we accept these things from them because it makes us feel good. It makes you feel appreciated. And sometimes people never, they never met someone like that before. So they, they've never been treated that way before. Some people could go a lifetime never being in love, never been in a relationship. And the narcissist, you know, they come on so strong and they have so much for you in the beginning. It's like they don't even give you the chance to just kind of take it all in and let it digest so that you can kind of question, you know, is this really happening? So it's like, when you accept these things from a narcissist and you kind of agree to giving them a chance, that moment that you say yes, they in there. And once they become a part of your life, it's just like they know what to do to get you, but they never do what's necessary to keep you. Because narcissists, they never really value you the way they pretended to at the very beginning. They just knew what to do to get you. And a lot of times with narcissists, they come into a relationship with a lot of baggage, with a lot of problems, with a lot of um, emotional problems. Things that has happened in their own life that can sometimes relate to what has happened in your personal life. And that's kind of how y'all were able to relate to things and just hit it off so early. And so, you know, and based off uh, my own experience and other people's experience in their relationship, it's always that same story in the beginning. Oh, we had so much in common. We went through this when we were younger. We went through this as young adults, you know. We're going through this now. We're pretty much the same. And so in your mind, it just all makes sense. That maybe y'all, you know, like y'all are meant to be. That's what the narcissist wants you to think that y'all are meant to be. So once they get you to agree to giving them this chance, you know, Little do you know 
that what you're really in for down the line. And of you know, and that's normal because we don't think ahead like that. We're not thinking about what's the worst that can happen with this person because they don't even they don't let us, you know, think that way. They don't allow us to even use our own thoughts. They want us to just agree to you know to they just want us to trust them they need us to just trust and believe them and that's a very powerful thing when it comes to a narcissist because you're pretty much giving them the key to control everything and as long as they know that they have your trust you know they know that they can pretty much control everything that keeps them in in a powerful position. And so those two things are trauma bonding and when you 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 re idealize the narcissist from the beginning, not from where it is. And so when you find yourself in the midst of a breakup of course, the narcissist, it's going to be moments where they, you know, you're not going to hear from them. But trust me, they're still, they're still peeking in and trying to see what's going on with you in your life. And they know that you're probably still thinking about them and they're thinking about you. But they're thinking about you in a different way. They're not thinking about you like they, they miss you and they want to give it a second chance and work on things. Because they're the one who caused the breakup in the first place. You know, anytime you found yourself in a position to say, oh, look, I, I just can't do this no more. I can't. I tried. And I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy. See, the narcissist, they're not going to let you go that easy. They're going to fight for you because they can't stand when you when you discard them first and they know that they're wrong they know that they're the root cause of you even making that decision because they know that they're the reason why you feel that way so it's just like they're not going to really let you go but when you just you know you take that step to just get out of the situation and give yourself some room, some time to think, you know. They still want you to kind of promise them that you're going to still be there. You know, that this is not completely over. And in the meantime, there's other supply they have on the side, you know. It's not like they're really respecting the fact that you need time to think and see where, where, you want to take things in the future, you know, as far as going forward with them. They, they still have somebody on the side. They still have other supply on the side. Other supply that's probably always been there. They just weren't expecting you, you know, to hit them with this out of the blue. And so while that is going on, you know, while you're taking that time to just think things over, the narcissist is plotting and planning to love bomb you and to hoover you into thinking that maybe they're the best thing that ever happened to you and, you know, there ain't nothing better than them. So they kind of know that you're probably going to give them a second chance because they're not even giving you the chance to breathe. So what they're doing is constantly checking on you or popping up, coming around, texting you, calling you, when it's supposed to be a breakup, it's supposed to be time in between, taking a break. And they're not going to allow that to happen because they don't even want you to make the decisions for yourself. They even want to control that. They have to control the narrative of everything dealing with you within the relationship and without. So that's kind of where that trauma bonding come in at. Because you don't even give yourself a chance to just 
you know, be alone for a while and figure things out, you know, and try to just you know, even heal from what's happened in a relationship that caused you to even make that decision. And, you know, you start to, to think, well, maybe, maybe it can be better or maybe it was me. They're going to even try to make you think that it was your fault, not just them, but it was also you. And they're going to try to paint that picture of we're both at fault for the relationship going in a certain direction. And you don't really feel that way. Maybe if we do this and maybe if we do that. They're not even letting you think for yourself. And that's where that, that, that toxic energy comes in that that makes you, you know, it gives you thoughts of giving them a second chance and then you end up giving them a second chance again. And it's just a matter of time before it happens all over again. Because they didn't even give you the room to try to move on. They don't even want you making decisions for yourself. Those are the reasons why you can't get over them. You know, like, if you look at a wound, if you keep picking at a wound, it will never heal. You're not giving it time to heal because you keep picking at it. You know. Just have to look at it like that sometimes. You know, it's just like, um, even if you look at it like a, a ice tray. When you, when you put water in the ice tray and you sit it in the freezer, it will never, the water will never freeze over into ice because you keep going into it. You keep messing with it you keep checking it you keep checking it and it will never freeze over because you're not giving it time to you just kind of have to look at things like that sometimes and the narcissist they take that power away from you to make your own decisions for yourself and a lot of times the trauma bonding it's a psychological thing that puts you in this state of mind of thinking that everything they say is right and well, maybe I should listen to them. Maybe they're right. Okay, I'm going to give it a second chance. And that's why things never really ever get to the second level of the healing process. So you made a huge step when you first decided to step on out and give yourself some time to think about if it's something you want to go through with. But that second step is a huge step and another huge step that's necessary for the healing process and they just don't allow you to go through with it so those are my thoughts on the two reasons why you can't get over the north and thank you